everyone welcome to topic of the day in this edition we are going to discuss about the lingaraj temple now recently the odisha government brought the 11th century lingaraj temple under a special law so the union government has questioned the legislative competence of odisha government and said that several provisions of this law were in conflict with the ancient monuments and archaeological sites and remains act of 1958 The Ministry of Home Affairs has also stated this act violates the provisions of Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites Remains Act of 1958. So under this act, the Archaeological Survey of India is responsible for the conservation and preservation of centrally protected sites. Now let us discuss about the Lingaraj Temple. Lingaraj is referred to as Swayambhu or self-originated shivling. This temple was built during the 11th century AD by King Laltendu Keshari and it is built in the Devla style. The temple marks the culmination of the temple architecture in Bhuvaneswar, Odisha, which was the cradle of the Kaling school of temple architecture. The temple can be broadly divided into four main halls. The first one is Garbhagriha that is the innermost hall or the sanctum sanctorum of the temple. Then we have the Yajna Mandapa the hall of prayers the natya mandapa or the dance and music hall the bhog mandapa where devotees can have the prasad or offering of the lord if we talk about the in the kaling architecture basically a temple is made of two parts that is a tower and a hall the tower is also known as devla and the hall is called jagmohan the walls of both devla and jagmohan are lavishly sculpted with architectural motifs and a profusion of figures the most repeated form the horse shoe shape which has come from the earliest times starting with the large windows of the chetagrihas it is devla style which makes three distinct types of temples in kaling architecture the rekha devla pirha devla and the khakra devla the former two are associated with vishnu surya and shiva temples while the third that is the khakra devla is mainly associated with chamunda and durga temples The Rekha Devla and Khakra Devla house the Sanctum Sanctorum or Garbhagriha while the Pirha Devla constitutes the outer dancing and offering halls certain examples of kaling architecture includes Rajrani Temple Bhuvaneswar and the Jagannath Temple of Puri now let us take up a practice question on this topic with reference to the Lingaraj temple consider the following statements first it was built during the 11th century AD by King Laltendu Keshari and second The temple marks culmination of the temple architecture in Odisha which was the cradle of Kaling school of temple architecture now which of the given above statements are correct you can write your answers in the comment section below so the correct answer is both of the above statements both of the two statements are correct so the correct answer is option C that is both of the statements are correct Well that's all for today's topic of the day for regular updates you can follow us on our social media handles and for more such videos do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel